Happy Friday, all right? This is where we find out this is a championship ball club or not. The football is, man. That's the fun in it. Kidding people. You're telling us. Go, baby. Are you trying to keep this game close? Are you trying? Hi, I'm Stuart Scott, and this is North Penn, a public high school of nearly 3,000 students in Lansdale, Pennsylvania, about 30 miles outside of Philadelphia. During the 1999 football season, ESPN followed the North Penn Knights as they tried to do what they'd never done before, win a state championship. Over the next two nights, we will take you on a behind-the-scenes look at high school football, an inside look at the coaches and players, on the sidelines, in the locker room, in school, and at home. Tonight, part one of the season. I know a lot of you guys are nervous. I am too. But what has to be there is that inner voice calming you down, keeping you focused. Pancake City O-line. Some of you seniors, you waited three years for this. You know, people saying this is going to be your year. Wait till next year. Next year is right now. Next year is in five minutes. I want to have fun. I want to play hard. And I want to kick some ass. Next year is now. Tonight is our night. What time is it? First day is always exciting. See other people you haven't seen all summer, meet new people. The first day is usually like the longest, so long and boring. Just hope it goes fast, get out and practice. Sucker, come on. You gotta shift to the weight of it. Shut up. <laughs> I'm working on it. Come on, Kathy, do this right. North Penn is a very large high school. Every day I think I see a new person in the hall that I've never seen before. People know who you are because you're a football player. It's fun for us. I mean, I live it up every day. When you're dressed, get out. Hey, Brown, get out when you're dressed. We set a goal every year to be state champs, and this year we feel that we have a good shot. Wells, go to the other side. Wells, just get up, walk around the back, and go sit next to Schneidinger. Just move guys from the third row into the second row, please. I think we knew when they were sophomores that this team had the chance to be a special team. Chris McKelvey, by far the best offensive lineman that I've seen, and I've seen some great ones. Ike Johnson, he just has great football instincts. So I feel good about our chances when the ball is in his hands. Go get it. Good. Don't hold your arm. Pump him. Clay Kuklik. One of the most dedicated, hardworking kids that I've ever been associated with. One more guy. Go ahead, Moser. Last year, we went 9-3 and three and qualified for the district playoffs for the first time in school history. It was, uh, hey, you did okay, but you know, wait till next year. Well, then, you know, one of our rallying cries for the season is, you know, next year is now. This is for your grandchildren. Thank you.
you want your program to the point where people think you're going to win every week. I mean, you want to be on top of the mountain with other people trying to trying to throw you off it. Uh, and we're not there yet. You guys can talk about it later. Let's go left. We've been working hard since January. I don't get home for like 8, 8.30 some nights. We're there every single day. Busting our butts, you know, trying to get bigger, faster, better. Just so we can be to where we are right now. I do it because it makes me a better football player. complex offenses and defenses in high school football like ever. All right, one foot, one foot, one foot. Backside guard, two, then one, then four by the backside end. You know, I kind of liken it to chess a little bit as far as having your pieces in the right spots. Two up the seam, split backs. Where do you break? But I think it goes beyond that as well. It's a lot more involved than that. You know, we're not dealing with pieces, you're dealing with kids. Study it, study it, study it. So if you know you're in on Rhino personnel, I would go down and find every play that's in there on Rhino personnel and highlight it and make sure you know what you're doing. Let's go. Get lined up. What are we waiting for? I think sometimes I've been criticized that I maybe yell and scream a little too much, but this is my coaching style. Read the card, know where to line up, know what to do, and get off on the count at the right time! Some people react different to his style of coaching. We know that he's just trying to make us better players. Too late. This clown squeezed the post. Oh, no. What did I tell you? Were? What is he doing? Right we, wouldn't, we wouldn't run the goal line on the field. Okay. I don't like the way he yells and everything, but I mean, that's, that's just me being a player. Whenever he yells at me, I just need to learn to get it in one ear and like out the other. I put pressure on myself. You know, anything less than, than perfection isn't acceptable, but, but to me, I mean, that, that's what you want. I mean, that's a necessary evil. Hit it! Hit it! Going into the season, when we look at the schedule, it would be hard not to immediately find where the CB West game is, because in our league, they're the team to beat every year. They're the two-time defending state champions. My dad happens to be the head football coach at CB West. He's one of the winningest coaches in high school football in this country. I think I grew up thinking that everybody in the world played football. I started out basically as a ball boy, a water boy, and then eventually I began to play football myself. Now I'm coming back as a head coach against them. Unfortunately, we've played them three times already and uh, haven't won yet. If we want to achieve our goals and win a championship, that's the team we're going to have to beat. Hit it! If anybody laughs, they can go in and hand in their uniform. You got it? This is not joke time. Walk them through it, King. All right, don't break down in the beginning. I'm just going to say, Knights, how y'all feel, all right? We're trying to make up the psych drill, like, before games, we, like, psych each other up, and we all get in a circle and just go crazy. You know, we let the seniors try to work it out, come up with one that's kind of unique to, to the uh, this year's team. So this is trial and error here. <laughs> Usually it gets a little comical. Just try it one more time, all right, ready? Knights, how y'all feel? Number 10, right? Yeah. What number's forward? 34. Best over 34 and 12. And 66. This year, I mean, everyone 
except for a couple of kids, our seniors, that are starting. And everyone's getting their chance now. Make sure you're putting it in the right spot. Bigger. This is huge for us. I mean, I think it really can set the tone for the season. Get your number. Obviously, we want to come out and we want to play well. And make a statement to that uh, the state ranking that we've received is justified. The journey of a thousand miles begins with that first step. You guys strap it on the pads tomorrow, I would consider this the most important game you've ever played. That's how you have to approach it mentally. Okay, seniors, this is your last crack at an opener. Okay, let's make it count. I guess I perform better when I'm nervous before a game. Always thinking about something, thinking about the game. I just feel sick to my stomach. I mean, sometimes I throw up. We have a lot of talent. We just need to do our jobs and carry it out. All right, you guys should be to total focus now. Total focus. You know, a lot of times you get kids that, that kind of uh, oversight themselves and you, and you get them too much and then they're prone to mistakes, especially in an opener. My feeling is more to approach this as a business trip. It's very serious, very focused on the task. Here's where we come out and we show them. This is where you prove yourself. It's your coming out party. This is where we show them, fellas, all right? Sophomore year, you've been waiting for this. Not January 4th, sophomore year. All right? Let's go, man. Let's do it. First time Friday night playing under the lights, so you don't want to beat yourself in the first game. You, know, you want to come out, you want to be sharp. The guy's 205 pounds. You're 265. No. Finish the block. I want movement. Don't get out there and analyze things. Just get lined up and react. Play football. Finish them, suckers. Finish them. If you've paid dues for two years for this, Matt, I would put pressure on you. Okay. Speed. Hit it. I'm going to hit that full it. speed. You got Don't it, Gunner. Get in your stance right away as soon as we get out of the huddle. This is a team they won the Catholic League title two years ago. They won nine games last year and made it to the Catholic League semifinals. If they play well, they'll certainly beat us, so we're going to have to be on top of our game. I want to send these suckers back to wherever the hell they come from with their tails between their legs. I'm sick and tired of people telling me, uh, you know, you guys never play against the Catholic League. That's where real football's played. Well, guess what? Real football's played in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Yeah, baby. Let's take it in. Let's go, baby. You know those late fees your bank charges? Maybe they're not your fault after all. Just to be sure, Discover Card lets you pay your bill online. So take control, and remember there's always something more to discover. There's a legend that supposedly if you look really hard, you can see that horse smiling. Sometimes the horse does smile, and that's a sign of good luck. And just about any culture, really. That's why they got a horse and not like a deer. I've seen it wink at me. That horse has winked probably like twice. One time before I, uh, I met my, uh, my ex-wife, and another time before I ended up buying a car for really good value. On your scale from 1 to 10, how clean are your teeth right now? 
them cleaner? Get ready for a whole new level of clean. Introducing Advanced Cleaning from Crest Multicare. The best Crest ever at repelling stains, tartar buildup, and that filmy feeling. So your teeth feel slick and smooth. Your mouth feels cleaner long after you brush. And that's a feeling you can't measure. New Advanced Cleaning from Crest Multicare. Open up and smile. Norman! Yes, Mother? What is this? It's pizza, Mother. Half cheese and half pepperoni? Half for you and half for me. Just the way we like it. So, someone delivered this pizza. You know what happens when we have visitors. It's not delivery, Mother. Don't lie to me, boy! No, Mother, it's DiGiorno. Our new half and half pizza keeps everyone in the family happy. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Such a good boy. Yes, Mother. Is ready. Needham's kick. Line drive. Clay Cucklick is the quarterback. Pro right near. Iso pack. Mikey Johnson is our greatest offensive threat. Iso for our offense is to get the ball into his hands. Johnson on a carry. First down, the ball in the 34 yard line. Get up on the line, Aaron! Damn it! Johnson on the carry. No gain on the play. Over split, you got the corner. Come on! Quarterback on the keeper. Touchdown, North Penn. Clay Kuklik on the carry. Lionel's kick is up and good. How you playing? You get movement, wide base. Remember, wide base, come off the ball. Hands inside, you got to break. Guys, okay, stay near me. He always wanted to start the season out well, and I knew that we had an explosive team. Let's go, strong three, odd five. Mike, are they taking a the penalty? I knew we had a ton of weapons. I thought maybe we could explode. In motion. Pass is complete. Touchdown. Johnson on the draw. What a move. Touchdown. North Penn. Stefanski is sacked. We're going to have Aaron deep. Look deep first. Deep, deep. back to pass. This is complete touchdown. Johnson on the carry. Let's go, power personnel, power. Johnson on the carry. Touchdown. Kublik on the keeper. Touchdown. Touchdown. North Penn 47, St. Joe Prep 6. That is the end of the game. Coach, good luck the SEC. Hey, Knights, how you feel? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I had, obviously, it's a great win. You know, great win. Way to come out. It's a way to come out of the blocks and take care of business early. Hopefully, that's a sign of the times in North Penn. We got it done early. We're going to enjoy this very briefly. We play again in five days, okay, against a much better opponent. 
<laughs> Let's enjoy it, guys. One and oh. I think we made a little statement tonight. A lot of talk about North Penn. Let's see if they can live up to it. Well, guess what? The sleeping giant is again wide awake oh. in North Penn. Hey, guys. One and oh, baby. Let's enjoy it. This is just the start, no, it's just the start. I like choices and variety when it comes to, well, everything, including television. That's why there was no other choice for me than AT&T Digital Cable. They offer a lot more channels, tons of sports like ESPN News, more premium channels, including three channels of HBO, and a lot more pay-per-view choices. Like the world's biggest amusement park. And I got my own personal tour guide. Call AT&T Cable Services and get the most choices and channels for your money. With AT&T Broadband, you can always expect to get the latest technology. Even if it's technology you haven't yet imagined. Hi, I'm Dan Summers. We're changing our name from AT&T Cable Services to AT&T Broadband because we're more than just cable TV. We're bringing you local telephone service and high-speed internet access. Welcome to AT&T Broadband. This Wednesday, the Reds head to Atlanta to battle the Braves. Griffey and Bichette, Chipper and the Big Cat, the NL's top power hitters slug it out. Then, East meets West in a crucial AL showdown. Derek Jeter and the Yankees look to make a run for it in the AL East, while Martinez and the Mariners fight for the top spot in the AL West. It's the road to the playoffs. Reds, Braves at 7 on ESPN. Yankees, Mariners at 10 on ESPN2. Wednesday. Ever since I was a little kid, I knew that I, I always wanted to play football. It's pretty good. This was an end zone, and uh, before that fence was there, that whole side right there was an end zone when we play uh, touch football. I think if they were inclined to do music, you know, we would all play it in a band or something or, uh, you know, sat together around the Christmas dinner table playing harmonicas and stuff. But it just turned out that they were directed toward athletics. My dad played football in college. He's coached football. He was always there to have a catch, shoot a basketball, throw a baseball. Remember, this is the little dump pass you're throwing. His work ethic was... That's what made him so good, that he refused to be le left on second team. And, you know, he wanted to work and work and work and work. Blue 11! Ready! Fire, fire, fire! Fire, fire! Heading into last season, we had two candidates at quarterback. Clay Kuklick and Joe Talese were both juniors. Joe was a little more of a raw talent, very fast, very athletic. But I thought Clay handled himself in the huddle a little bit better. You know, kind of knew the offense a little bit better. Hey, Joe, here you were again. Feet this wide, and they were literally underneath the center's feet. Can you please listen to coaching ever? I was off, like, mentally. I don't know. I lost focus, and maybe, like, the coach thought I really didn't want to, like, be the starting quarterback anymore, but that wasn't the case, so I lost my position. Clay, get in for a play. Every day I'm going to Hey! Hey! Blue 11! Blue 11! Hurry up! Good call! Good, Garner, good! Good, good, good. That's what I want, Clay. See that, Joe? Just like that. That's just the way the sport is, I guess. Actually, Clay, if they're in king, you can go ahead and jam. Set! Hunt! That sucks in that aspect, but I'm always ready to go right in there. Six words from A, six words from B. They have to be spelled correctly. And it's all. Yeah, six words. 
I didn't like really care about school much when I first started, but like Coach Patton told me like academics are real important if you want to make it in a college level. So I started to buckle down and get into my books a little bit. I think my grades are pretty good right now. This PC video. Right. Okay, that's for the computer. Okay. I will sometime during the period come around and give you your grades so that you can check my percentage with your percentage. Okay, this room here, 209. It has the overhead and it has the TV. Math is the only class that I enjoy in school right now. Because <laughs> English I'm never good at. I have a question. Is Beowulf like a Hercules kind of figure? I would say that... Like really strong in her... Yes. All right. Okay. School's pretty fun, but right now I'm just thinking about football. The beautiful thing about football is you start every week with a clean slate. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Pensbury High School's Falcon Field for today's matchup featuring the visiting Knights of North Penn. Tackle that time. That's it. Good. Good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ike Johnson makes a move. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Ike Johnson with some open space. That's where he's dangerous. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Yes. yes. One. And tonight, the Knights embark on their Suburban One National Power 10 schedule against the always fast and feisty Ben Salem Owls. Cutlet on the keeper. Finally brought down at the 15. Are you trying to keep this game close? Are you trying? Left side to Heike Johnson makes a cut inside. Avoiding one, two, three tacklers. What? What? What's your excuse? Touchdown. against the better teams in our league than the Chamonix, the Council Rocks, the CB West. This type of performance, we got, you know, we got to work the kinks out now. There's always the next challenge. CB West! CB West! CB West! CB West! CB West! You never want to rest on your laurels. CB West! CB West! CB West! CB West! CB West! It's just something from playing for my dad and coaching with him. It's always what's next. Hi, do you have any mozzarella? Sorry, we're all out. Give me a pound of mozzarella. How about some nice provolone? Where's all the mozzarella? Well, Dave Thomas put it on Wendy's Mozzarella Chicken Supreme. Now we're all out of mozzarella. Two slices of mozzarella, a plump, juicy whole chicken breast fillet. Sure, we're sports center anchors who average a bag or two a week. Thanks for the letter. Hugs and kisses. Melissa Stark. The rest of us just try to help out when we can. You know, lighten the load. Dear Fred, thanks for the letter. Hugs and kisses. Melissa Stark. And just basically like put money in my own pocket and take some of the pressure off my mom so she doesn't have to like pay bills and then look out for me at the same time. Salt, pepper, and oregano. For a single mother with two kids, I think she's doing pretty good. She's like struggling a little bit, but hopefully by me, my getting a job, it'll relieve some of the stresses that she has. It's been pretty good for me because this is the first year I've only worked one job. I've been able to attend every game. Um, it's been really good. Um, with Hockey, getting a full scholarship took a lot of pressure off of me. I only have one kid to worry about now, and he's definitely going to one of the finest schools, too. They come this far, and I'm going to see to it that they get everything that they need and everything that they deserve. Huh? I got a great wife. I got a great two kids. Bend your knees a little bit. Even if I do carry some of the baggage home from practice, they're usually there to take it off my hands. Megan missed. Megan did miss. Can you tackle me first? Yeah. 
Okay, get up in your stance. Get up off your knees. There you go. 22. 44. Set. Hot. Oh. All right, give me a high five. Good job. Woo. I try to keep things separate and not let my mood from football affect my mood in the rest of my life. And sometimes that's hard. Ready to catch the ball? At this point in the season, I'm pleased with where we are. I know we're going to have to make major improvements to beat a team like Nisham and certainly to beat a team like CB West. So I'm pleased with where we are, but I know we've got a long way to go if we want to accomplish our goals. Set! Head! On one! Good, that's what I want, Mike. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we need to go to Joe in a crucial situation, and I hope that he's there and I hope that he's ready. Set! Head! Eyes up, Joe. Eyes, why are you looking at the ground dropping back, Joe? And you were one play away from being the guy. One play away. Okay, home opener tonight, guys. Got a lot of people here. A lot of people are curious about the Knights. What kind of show are we going to put on? What are they going to leave here saying about us? Overrated? Or people in the area better watch out for North Penn. They're for real. Let's take it in. You see in the NFL that any, you know, on any given night, anything can happen. So certainly is true in high school football. Well, in this week's big game, we get our first look at the number two team in the sports show's rankings. As North Penn plays host to Abington in this week's big game. This is our house, baby. Let's go. Go, baby. Let's go, North. All out ass. Let's go, baby. Home crowd. No one can stop us in our house. Go, We're here at North Penn High School. Crawford Stadium as the North Penn Knights entertain the Abington Ghost. I feel good. The kids should feel good, but they shouldn't feel too good. You know, there's always you always have to have that element of running a little scared. Sometimes it's hard, depending on the opponent, having a feeling of overconfidence. Johnson gets a good block, cuts inside, 45 midfield, 45, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, and Johnson scores. And yeah, that's going to put Heike Johnson over the three set yard mark for his career. That's it, Keith. Let's play some D now. I don't want these suckers ever to be in it. Edson back to throw, looks on the right. Picked off by North Penn. Play tucked like down the linebacking spot, picks it off, returns it inside the alley to 30. Slot left near, you're in. Slot left near, 56 counter OF. They come to Johnson. Johnson off this left side, rooks for room, cracks down inside the 10, down to the 5, dives into the end zone. Tucklick back to throw. Across the middle, wide open, he's got him. Breaks a tackle to 20. Close to the 15 yard line. His tight end, Matt Gill. Right up the middle, Cutlick looking for Rude. A drop from behind at the 15 yard line. A power personnel, Sid. Special right near. But now Cutlick, he's hurt. Police! To create the most realistic football games means working with our changing. It's amazing what you can do with the original Wall Magic and two colors of paint. Now with dual foam rollers only from Wall Magic, you can turn an ordinary room into a sensational room. Do you believe in magic? So roll on your own magic today. It's easy to create the designer looks you want. Wall Magic, the new way to paint. Do you believe in magic? Now available at your local retailer. Chris Mortensen here. As an analyst on NFL Countdown, I pledge to you that I'll tirelessly research all stories I report. I'll follow up and confirm all leads regarding Sunday's games, and I will never use the Telestrator to draw on players' faces. You know, 
mustaches, devil horns, hillbilly teeth. It's just the way we do things around here. Sunday NFL Countdown at 11 a.m. on ESPN. running uh, in just a little quarterback trap and I put my arm out to brace myself and it, I guess it locked or something. You know, my heart kind of jumped into my throat. I just hoped it wasn't anything serious. We're going to get a look here at our guy from last year, the starter, Joe Talese. You know, you always got to be ready. I wasn't nervous at all. I had more of a sigh of relief, like, ah, oh, finally. Get the snap. This is the thing about this league. You know, you win games and you lose You lose kids. I'm trying to get his uh, shirt and shoulder pad off. Yeah, I got it. All right, listen, Clay. What I want you to do is lay down in the back with your head up there, okay? Did you ever pop the sugar up before? No. Oh. Scooch up to the top. Push your, use your legs, push yourself up to the top. Oh. Just let it relax as much as it can. Let's take that. Open it up all the way. It's gonna be all right. Close your eyes and relax. The charm we're gonna do is There you go. You alright? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Said as I was, that he went down. Uh, it's part of football. You have to deal with injuries. At least going to keep it. Looks for room. Cuts to the outside. Joe Tulis can't play the position. Make no doubt about that. They go to Heike Johnson off this right side, and Heike Johnson's going to go in standing up. And he's got his sixth touchdown of the evening. What do I have to do here? Just ice it? Yeah, I'm probably going to put you in a sling. I'm going to ice you up. He came down, like, like tried to hold myself up with his hand. Someone came in like this. Doc, I know he's going to want to play. I know he's going to want to play. Okay. But we'll talk he's got to go at least four or five weeks. Well, we'll treat him in a sling. We'll take some x rays, and then I'll let you know when right. I can get back to the okay. Get him back as quick as it's safe. All right. right. You think it's broken or anything? No. No, I think you just pop it. Okay. Yeah. You need to let it sit for a little bit. Let it rest, okay? Yeah. Oh. situation where you win the battle but lose the war. It'd be hard to enjoy this win knowing that you know, we're going to miss him for a minimum of two to three weeks. It was like a whole year that I've been like working toward one thing. That was my personal goal was to start a quarterback this year. And I worked so hard to get it and then one stupid little play just ruined it for me. It really hurt. Oh, yes, yeah, a brilliant move. Galvez scampering across the goal to stop it. They just couldn't seem to... Now, every time you brush, Advanced Care Toothbrush has multi-level cleaning bristles. Plus, soft massaging tips to help keep gums healthy. New Advanced Care from Crest. Now there's more reasons than ever to join AOL. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started a long time ago. You got mail! <laughs> Instant messages are better than being on the telephone. AOL parental controls help safeguard your kids. There's an 800 number that you can call 24 hours a day. On AOL, your privacy and security are always protected. AOL has it all. They just keep making it better and better and better. There's no better time to join. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Call now. 1-800-4-ONLINE. North 
Ten tonight as they will go to 4-0 and on this young season after an impressive win over Abington, 40-0. You know, even though we won the battle, you know, I don't want this to uh, affect us as far as losing the war. We got a couple guys banged up. Looks like Clay's going to be out for a couple weeks. You know, we can't let that affect us. Okay, you know, guys like Joe, everybody else has to pick it up that much. We got big games coming up. Tenet, the Chamonix, Rock. You know, it doesn't get any easier. You know, Clay's dying to be back out. And it will, you know, best case scenario, two to three weeks. And you know who'll be the best case scenario with his work ethic. All right, let's take it in. I'm going to do everything, everything that all the guys do. I'm going to run. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to be throwing. I'm going to be throwing every day. Just try to stay mentally prepared. When I come back in there, I'm going to be fresh. Does it hurt at all, Clay? Does it hurt at all? Mm, a little bit. A little bit it does? Tilt your head way back for me. And look to the left. Look to the right. That doesn't bother you at all. That hurts, Clay? No. Hurts a little bit out there? No, it doesn't. That bothers you, doesn't? No. <laughs> Tell the truth. truth. I'm Clay. dead serious. It doesn't hurt. I don't think he believes you, Clay. No, it doesn't hurt. Can I play now? That's right. <laughs> The chance of him re-dislocating his shoulder is probably somewhere between 60 and 90 yeah. percent. The good news is he doesn't have anything wrong with the nerves, you know, yeah. and, that, and that could be a disaster. Now, but you can't play until your strength's back to normal and your motion is okay. So those things you can't really fake on me, all right? Yeah. And, and, and so I know it, maybe it doesn't hurt you that much, but I can't give you the green light to play and, until I'm comfortable that those things are okay. I can't see anything happen over the next week to two weeks. I'm going to talk to uh, Dave DeFusco, the trainer, about doing some exercise with you once I see the MRI. Between now and then, I want you to wear your sling. Clay, any questions? <laughs> Besides, when can I play? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad for Clay because he feels the same exact way I feel about the position. So, you know, I feel bad for him in that way. But, you know, just to tell you honestly, I am happy because, you know, I want to play. And I'm ready for it. I know, you know, he'll probably put Clay back in there when he gets better. But I'm going to make it a hard decision for him is what I'm going to do. Because, I mean, I'm not giving it up. It's mine, too. Just find this as a big-time opportunity. You know? Set! Cut! Red 20! Flops! Flops! Red 20! Ready to go! Too wide, Joe. Joe, too wide! Here's what it should look like, Joe. All it is is... One, two... Here. And then you'll see the hole, and it'll end up veering it on out. Let's go. Blue 40! Hold up. We just said Bob. Makes sense. He's got to the wider tackle. Yeah, Bob, Bob to the wider tackle. Set, hut. Come on, Joe, get the snap. Oh, what is he doing? Line up, Joe. Relax. Thirty is slash. One, Joe. Blue eleven. Blue eleven. Ready to go. Let's relax, Joe. Blue twenty. Ready to go. Now, the reason for the coaching change with Joe is just that I know he's nervous. Uh, and it's his first day back, and he's making, uh, you know, he's making some, you know, some mistakes that I know he's not going to make in a game. Uh, and I just think at this point, to, to really get on him a lot, I, I just think is counterproductive. I, I just feel like I have to have a lot more patience. Uh, you know, I don't want to lose the kid to the point where mentally he's just so uh, out of it and afraid to make a mistake that he ends up making more. Joe, your first step is back this way. We'll work on it. Sometimes you need the whip, and, and sometimes you maybe need to hang a little, um, you know, you know, hang the carrot in front of them. Good, Joe. Good, Joe. Quick that one by Set. Good timing. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. 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 He's into the group. <laughs> Just got to keep focused. Ready? Second and second and third. Ready? Go. From the time he was a little boy, he just had football in his blood. They would play backyard football, and, you know, he had this arm that was incredible. Football has always been a part of our lives. See, I never had any brothers. My little sister's the best. She was basically my brother. She's pretty good. She's better than most of the people in this neighborhood. I know, I saw you. <laughs>
Joe's dad and I haven't had a good relationship. He has lived with anger and hollering and, and fighting and heartbreak, really. Ten seconds. All right. Ten seconds. That's what I'd like to hear, buddy. Joe's used to a screaming dad and then to have a screaming coach. He doesn't respond well to that. He can't respond best to the program and show his talents because he doesn't respond well to anger because that's all he's been dealing with all of his life is anger. He's a quiet, quiet kind of person that has gone through a lot, but I feel like football is that outlet for him that he can feel good about himself. Got Kristen and she's gonna go to. Touchdown! Girls win. <laughs> Good game. Yay. Good game. Girls rule! Woo! Yo, know, new pee. Snoo. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Chris was very lucky that, you know, he had the size that, and speed that a lot of those kids, look, the colleges looked at. And I mean, I, yeah, I was blessed with the size, but I work for the speed. Oh, I know that. I mean, I know you work for it, but I'm just saying you also had good coaching, too. You know, my recollection of football players is these guys are to go out and try to hurt, kill somebody, you know. And I said to Coach Penn, I said, I said, you know, I don't know if Chris is really the kind of kid that's going to go out and hit. And he said, well, he said, Chris is still a gentle person, but when the whistle blows, he's ready to play football. <laughs> exciting time for Joe right now, so I'm just trying to stay behind him 100%, give him all the support he can get. His jo name is Joe, 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 Joe Talese, Lise, Lise, Joe Talese, Lise, Lise, Joe Talese, Lise, Lise, his name is Joe, 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 Joe expect us to look better this week than we did last week. Everybody will be saying, why wasn't Joe playing all the time? That's what you hope. We'll see. I hope he's not too nervous. Starting to get the early, the early game jitters. I haven't started since last Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, just got to try to stay relaxed, focused, do what I have to do, just do my job, and pretty confident things will turn out good tonight. People tell you, you know, they use the cliche, even keel. Uh, that's something that really applies to Joe. I, I just wanted him to be consistent and, and make solid plays and make solid decisions. I don't think our team's going to miss a beat with me in there. Say night. Let's go. Get ready, baby. Some people choose AT&T Digital Cable because of the... Look to me for the call. Black or white. Straight set up, 34 slash. Check with me. Because we're stinking the joint out up front, 110 yards in the first half. 
and we look like s No, you guys gotta pick it up. You're getting key killed out there. Everybody's nice. getting killed. This is all senior leadership. Everybody's gassing. Pick it the hell up. Let's go. Uh Do you want me to pull you now, make a horse throw, and then you walk off the field with your head down? Is that what I want? Or how about you do what I want if you want to play instead of what you want? Some bullsh throw across your body down the middle of the field, which is rule number one that we go over. Get it back! You gotta get a move out there, man. You got no move. No. Stay calm. Just, you know, eight yard gain on the play. You know what you're supposed to do. Just, you know, just let it come to you. Let it come to you. Let's go. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. Let's go. For the you're gonna try to mole you here. Let's just get, you know, you need movement. We need North Penn style football here, all right? I wanna get off the ball. Let's hit this, let's hit it, man. We're gonna line up in the same formation and run the same play again. Fight. A dog fight. Not like I didn't warn you. I mean, we finally played a decent team, and guess what, guys? News flash. We're not that good. We just can't show up and just dial up a number on the scoreboard against quality teams. That's not going to get it done in the next two weeks. Nishamani and Council Rock. Not going to get it done. You will walk off the field a loser with that effort. I want a silent bus on the ride home. That's how pissed off I am. With the attitude and the performance. All right, let's take it up the hill. What makes a good quarterback is a good decision maker. You know, tonight I wasn't, so I just got to learn from my mistakes. Because, I mean, I'm up next week, too, so I just got to get better. What kind of hat were you going to get from the line, high or low? I didn't think this location was that serious. But um, now I know and it's tough to deal with. Just raise your arms up. Not coming up so much. Still got a little bit there. Still, Scab is still leaving a little early. One more time, but much better. Much better. I just went to therapy every day. Just worked really hard. Just went there for like two and a half hours a day. Just you know, just trying to get the strength back, my range of motion, and all that stuff. How's that feel? What do you think I'm going to say? You think it's, it hurts? <laughs> Is there a psychiatrist in the house? You got to understand. You're dealing with it fine. Keep working. You're ready. Go. You think I'm dealing with it Go. fine, huh? Is that energy? Channel that energy into that shoulder. He said the best case scenario was two weeks. I was determined that it was going to be two weeks, not six. How's that feel? Awesome. I just gotta make the best of these couple weeks I have. Just play as good as I can because it's my last opportunity. Tonight begins at 7.30. Then at 10 on ESPN2, Arizona State versus San Diego State.
Richard. Old school football helmets. And an Eagles playoff ticket. 1991. I lived in this house for 18 years. It doesn't really feel like I'm moving. It's not that far away. It's not like I'm moving to like California. It's like I'm moving like a mile away, so. It's not like the environment's gonna change. PlayStation. Throw it out. Mm. Yeah, it's fake. It's not real. <laughs> Football's getting to me. I can't take that anymore. <laughs> I played football because I wanted to have fun. It's just the thing that makes you escape from everyday life. It's just fun. It's just a really, really fun game, and I love playing it. I didn't play it as like this is like um, a war. Cause I played it because it's a game, and I love it, and it's just fun. And that's how you got to take it. paper before the season. This is a game that maybe we should have an easy time with. Certainly not now. The Chamonix is good. Joe, you got to give the wing time to get across. It's check with me. Run it again for Talese. He's got to learn to be more coachable. Okay, you have to make sure in every package this week, you look over. I know personally I play better when I'm not being screamed at. When I'm flipping out or being very critical, I never mean it as a personal attack. You know, it's my way of, of wanting to make them better. I was not pleased at all with the way he played against Tennant. You know, he'd be good one out of two plays, which, which for us is, is not, uh, you know, is not going to get it done. So he's really got to pick it up. I made a bunch of mistakes. You know, I just gotta, you know, correct them. That's all. I don't have a good feeling about this week, to be honest with you. Obviously, offensively, we started out. It was terrible. I just can't believe it. I cannot even coach you anymore. It's so annoying. It is so annoying. Line up. Set. Cut. Look at your idiot stance. Put your right arm down. Can you not put your right arm down? Your other right arm. Set. Cut. Mike, aren't you tired of f***ing up? Set, hunt. Stop looking at me every time the huddle breaks like a sheep. Set, hunt. It's going to be a good game. This is going to be the first real true game where someone actually might score some points against us. Set, hunt. It's not an exact science. You're dealing with 15, 16, 17, 18-year-old kids. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. So it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle. I don't have the greatest feeling about it, but... Hopefully we'll pull through. I just want to get through this week. Fred, nine! Here you go! Drive back to the ball, Aaron Thomas! Come back to it! Go take a break. I don't want anybody to stay here. I want everybody to go over there. Just get away from me. And we're going to come back and start over. Yeah, we have to bring that back. That excitement we had, everybody was getting rowdy. We've lost that. Football is fun. That's why we're here. Uh, if, you were, if you didn't think it was fun, would you be here? I mean, seriously, go out and have fun and play a good game. For once, let's have a game where we're, where we're against a quality opponent that we go out there and we beat their ass. It'll be an uphill struggle after that. We, we drop this one. Okay, so achieve our goals, guys. It all comes down to tomorrow. Be ready. Tonight, I want to encourage everybody to come out to the football game. Cheer on our undefeated football team against the Chamonix. Good luck to Dan, Chris, Ron, Heike, Mike, and the entire football team as they continue their march towards the conference championship. This one's a big game. Big game. Does that look normal? I don't know what to do with myself except to go to rehab and try to get better. So. Clay's shoulder examines uh, much better than I thought it would at this point. If he makes the same kind of improvement over the next week that he made last week, we anticipate him being able to play next week. It's a huge game, but you know what also means it could be my last game I've ever, I'm ever starting in again. And like you know, my sister said, you know, like this is your last game and all that stuff. Just play, you know, let them remember you. This is what she said. Joey T better have a big game tonight, or we're gonna be in trouble. Shaman is going to be a tougher team. It's going to be the toughest team we faced all season. 
I just got to play my A game. What do you want it to be? Do you want to see these guys celebrate on your field, tear down your goalpost? Is that what you want to see? Or do you want to see an ass one? Do you want to see the offensive line go out and dominate? Defensively, we dominate. Is that what you want to see? Yeah. You got to want it. You got to want it. You got to taste it. Keep the intensity up. Maintain it throughout the game. What time is it? ESPN.com for the cup. I'm just crazy for the juice. It's ESPN Fantasy Football 2000. The classiest fantasy football on the internet. It's primo. season if they could upset us. First and ten for the skins. He comes to Vincent. Nice big hole. Vincent, the secondary, still his feet. Makes a move to the outside. 40, 30, 20, 10, and Vincent's going to score. 62-yard scamper. So we've got an 8-6 to six ball game. North Penn on top, but now they see the Chamney come back and get within two. Come on, let's get after him now, damn it. Now the shot the done. Third and 20. And Talese pump fakes, trying to Throw scamper it. for his life, looking downfield, throwing. Wide open is Johnson, and they lost it. He had both defenders beat. Get your body under control. Make it play. Protect, protect, protect. They're coming after it. Out of the shotgun, Talese takes a snap, rolls to his left. And the Shabby, great defensive play. They drop him inside the 40, back around the 35-yard line. Joe! Be smart! Be smart! Be smart! Quickly, they go to Landis on the right side. Gets a block, turns the corner. And then a fumble on the play. And the Shabby on the recovery. What the hell happened on iPost? You can't get the damn exchange. Every snap, you're bobbling. You're killing us! North Penn's going to go to the locker with a two-point lead and maybe a sigh of relief. We'll see how Coach Petten rallies the troops here for the second half. This game is won or lost with us. You've got to have pride and you got to have heart. I don't care what the hell is going on in our minds, but we got to pick it up and know our rules. Everybody, myself and especially. This is how they're lining up. I'd love to put Trojan in at halftime. Let's put straw it up. Straw it up. Last week, bull is first half bull. It stops now. It stops now. Now we come out and we kill him. Did he finish shift out and back? Joe just takes like two steps to the one step to the right. Who was it? Right, the guy. Right. It's like that. That's right. Okay, that's what we'll do. We gotta come out and play like it's our last game for the next 24 minutes. No letting up. Enough talk. Yo, I'm gonna go all out of here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Let's 
and prove it. I felt it was my obligation to say something if our team wasn't doing well. I felt that I had the right to say something. I just took that on myself to, to do that. To me, I really looked at it as our, our season had come to a crossroads. Where were we going to go from here? If we wanted to live up to our ranking and have the dream matchup at the end of the year, we needed to take care of business. Police going to keep it himself. Try to turn the left corner, he does. Capusta in the secondary. Inside the 10, first and goal for the night. First and goal from the two-yard line. Police waiting for the snap. Goes to Capusta, who dives. Does he get in? Yes, he does. That's good to let your senior leaders take over. I'm not really sure what he did in the locker room, but I guess it worked. Oh, here they come to Johnson. Johnson breaks it. Johnson, 40, midfield. It's a race, but 40. And Heike Johnson's going to go all the way. So our final score here at Crawford Stadium, the North Penn Knights victorious as they post 29 on the board, the Shamney 6. You know, I just felt really good. Like I helped out the team in a big way and that was nice to know. I didn't have a great feeling during the week. Some of you guys probably realize that, but I'll tell you what. Seniors picked it up. That's a hell of a win. That's a, that's the, that to me is, is the biggest win we've had since we've been here. No doubt. And that's a credit to you guys. Effort, technique, coachability. Awesome. Awesome. As banged up as we were, put a little licking on these guys. That's a credit to you guys. Joey T. Joey T. Joey T. 6 0, baby. Let's take it. Up. It was my time to shine. I just did the best job I could. If this is my last game ever. It's kind of a good way to go. It feels pretty good. I don't know. I just got to shake the rust off, I guess, a little bit. Good, good, Clyde. Feel good. <coughs> Ready to play. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you this year's homecoming court. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hyde P. Johnson. I never thought I'd be on the homecoming court. This is outrageous. When I first came into the district, I was, I got into a fight like every day. And um, I mean, over the years, I mean, after getting punished for it and like losing friends about over it, you know, I started to change and um, the results and people like me. <laughs> Our team will be crowned this Friday night during the North Penn Council Rock Football. Playing football, you have to be disciplined. You can't be getting in trouble or anything. So I think it like bottled my anger and I. Use that on the football field. Okay, guys, don't forget what's going on here tomorrow night. We've got a damn game, a big one. And I'd be naive to think that you guys don't look ahead on the schedule a little bit. We get through this one, I think we're in the driver's seat. Okay, we're in the driver's seat, but this is a huge one for us. Mayor Party, Chris Mela, Sandy Show, Heike Johnson, Heike Johnson, Lindsey Simpson. What they basically do is they uh, ask the kids to vote during school, and they count up the votes after school. 
And at halftime tonight of tonight's game, I'll find out whether or not I made it. Matt Casey, Renee Riccardi, Heike Johnson, April Budd, Sagar Bot, Sandy Cho. And if I don't make it, it's fine with me, but if I do, that's, that's cool. I just hope to win the game, that's it. That'll make it all better if I do win. <laughs> I'm glad he's able to play again because he's been a pain in the neck. Every time I ask Clay, you know, he says, awesome. And I know he wants to play so bad that he would say anything, you know. And I, for so long, it seemed like he was convincing himself that his arm was good, even right after it happened. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, nervous because you don't want it to happen again. But, you know, it can happen in any, you know, football's football. Teams going in uh, unblemished. Get him back. So uh, hopefully uh, we can keep our end of the bargain and Junior can keep his. First and ten, North Penn. Hook look on a keeper. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 30. Clay Cuckley looks to be having no ill effect with that shoulder injury. Hook look on a keeper. He's got the corner. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. It felt so good to finally get back out there again, get moving again, and helping the team. Big homecoming crowd here. This place is packed. Potential kings and queens of the homecoming court are walking out now. like saying like the people in your school like they know you they care about you my mom's to her it's like real special that i become such a different kid a better child Congratulations. It's a heck of an effort. We're where we want to be. Okay, I think we can kind of assume that little driver's seat role now. But we got to stay focused week to week still. Take care of business. I mean, everybody knows what's on the horizon. It's no longer in the distant future. It's on the horizon. You can almost see it. Well, let's enjoy this win. Enjoy it because you guys, you earned it. Let's take it in.
look to make a run for it, and the Mariners fight for the top spot in the AL West. It's the road to the playoffs. Reds, Braves at 7 on ESPN. Yankees, Mariners at 10 on ESPN2. Wednesday. where we want it to be. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've had some unexpected things happen. The smoke is cleared, and guess what? We're 9-0, playing for a league championship. I know one thing I wanted to do before I graduated high school wasn't get 2,000 yards, wasn't go undefeated. I just want to be West. I mean, what better way to beat West than win a freaking league championship? What better way? There is none. The visiting team tonight is the Knights of North and East. The Knights of This is the point that everybody's been working towards. I still can't even imagine what it's going to be like at kickoff time. Part two of the season. That's tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern on ESPN. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stuart Scott. has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Welcome to North Penn High School in Lansdale, Pennsylvania, about 30 miles outside of Philadelphia. I'm Stuart Scott, and tonight on part two of the season, we continue our behind-the-scenes look at high school football in America, on the sidelines, in the locker room, in school, and at home. In part one, we saw North Penn get off to its best start in school history. Now, Knights head coach Mike Pettin Jr. faces the biggest challenge of his football life, his father. Mike Pettin Sr. is the head coach of arch-rival Central Bucks West High School, the defending state champions. Father versus son and a team's quest for its first championship tonight on the conclusion of the season. We know what it's all about. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've had some unexpected things happen. We're exactly where we want it to be. tonight is they will go to 4-0 on this young season after an impressive win over Abington. That was NP style. The North Penn Knights victorious as they post 29 on the board to Shabney 6. That's a hell of a win. The Knights are 6-0. They're 5-0 in Suburban 1. He continues for this North Penn season, undefeated after the first seven. Inside the ten, he's going to score. Side and shot to go to the end zone. The smoke is cleared, and guess what? We're nine and zero, playing for a league championship. Before we leave and give it to you know everybody who needs one on the bus. I'm Mike Benton Jr. and I'm the head football coach of the North Penn Knights. This is called the biggest game this year on our schedule by far is CB West. This is a game that I've I probably started to prepare for after last season ended. And my dad has been coaching uh, at CB West uh, as a head coach since 1967. He's one of the winningest coaches uh, in high school football in this country. Get him, Kelly! Get, get him! Get him! That's it! That's it! That's it! Not bad. All right. Their program is the. 
the marquee program in the States. It's no secret. Our motto this year was if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. I feel good. I feel as good going into a, a West week as I've ever felt. I think a lot of teams come in there and think this is CB West. We're not going to win anyway, so we're not going to do that this year. I think this year we're going to be victorious. Here we are, fellas. As you can see, circus-like atmosphere. You've, ne focused. you've never had full stands for warm-ups. Don't get caught up in the <laughs> Realize what we're here for. It's a business trip. We're here to win a championship. In 1984, Mike Penton Sr. and I had a conversation, and what in the tone of that conversation was the following. Someday, somebody's going to go coaching at North Penn High School. They're going to wake up that sleeping giant, and the whole area is going to be in trouble. Three years ago, Michael Jr. went over there, Michael Penton Jr., and you heard the rumbles just a little bit. You couldn't have a better script than what's happened. North Penn... In here tonight, 9-0. Central Bucks West in here tonight, 9-0. And whoever wins this one tonight will be seated number one in the District 1 Quad A playoffs. Clay Kuklik, he's a kid that constantly, constantly wants to make himself better. I mean, we really just look to him as a, as a leader. Clay dislocated his non-throwing shoulder in the fourth game of the season, and he's still recovering from that injury. High Key's a real special kid. You know, our offense is to get the ball into his hands. He knows where holes are going to be. He knows when to, to use his speed and just his natural football smart. Chris McKelvey, uh, he's just a dominating, dominating blocker. Uh, he is by far uh, the best offensive lineman that I've seen. Like, we need the tough yard. It's a safe bet. We're going to run behind Chris. Thomas is by far the fastest kid on the team. He's probably one of the, the fastest kids in the league. Everyone in here is going nuts, all right? Everyone remembers everything, everything that goes to Darcy. And we're going to go home champions, motherfucker. these bucks, I'm sick of this shit. You're not know, good there. They're stronger than us. They're bigger than us. They're faster. Trip. Relax, we're on a business trip. Film. Uh, I won't talk to him all week until I see him on the field. <laughs>
for the game. We have to have a drum roll for this exchange. I, I just think it would be uncomfortable knowing that I'm going to be looking at his film and, and, and preparing to beat him, and I, I don't want to get on the phone and, and put on any false hack. We have a pretty good understanding that all bets are off the week that we play. Uh-oh, he didn't wake him up just for the old man. No, he was rolling around. Ooh, why are you doing that? This guy played for CB West. He knows the system. I mean, he coached for us, so he got a ready-made scouting report. Yeah. yeah we I just want to be competitive. After watching the game the other day, no doubt you're licking your chops. What do you mean? 42 to 7? Wow. Mercy rule? You ran him off the field. Hey, their star halfback predicted uh, after playing against both North Penn win. Okay. <laughs> Kid's entitled to his opinion. <laughs> you better not. Megan, say goodbye to the bad guy. Any of, uh, say bye, bad guy. candy. Okay. Give Poppy a punch in the nose. No. You won't hit Poppy, will you? Nice, Poppy. I'm not going to lie to you. It would be an unbelievable experience to top a program that has really set the standard for high school football. Not just locally, not just statewide. They're one of the premier programs in the country. On your scale from 1 to 10, how clean are your teeth right now? Want them cleaner? Get ready for a whole new level of clean. Introducing Advanced Cleaning from Crest Multicare. The best Crest ever at repelling stains, tartar buildup, and that filmy feeling. So your teeth feel slick and smooth. Your mouth feels cleaner long after you brush. And that's a feeling you can't measure. New Advanced Cleaning from Crest Multicare. Open up and smile. You know those late fees your bank charges? Maybe they're not your fault after all. Just to be sure, Discover Card lets you pay your bill online. So take control, and remember there's always something more to discover. To create the most realistic football games means working with the pros. Sometimes that can lead to problems. Marshall, one fumble clip. Just one. No, I don't fumble. Just one time. No, I mean, just... I do not fumble. Fortunately, we're real problem solvers. Hey, Marshall! Rated E for everyone. Cover Girl. Fresh new faces, a fresh new way to wear clean. New clean sheer stick. At last, the light freshness of clean makeup, now in an easy breezy stick. Turn it up, light it on, blend it in. It doesn't look like makeup, just great skin. New clean sheer stick. Never greasy, never thick. Chris Mortensen here. As an analyst on NFL Countdown, I pledge to you that I'll tirelessly research all stories I report. I'll follow up and confirm all leads regarding Sunday's games, and I will never use the telestrator to draw on players' faces. You know, mustaches, devil horns, hillbilly teeth. It's just the way we do things around here. Sunday NFL Countdown at 11 a.m. on ESPN. The CB West game is a game that uh, we've been looking forward to for a long time, ever since last season ended. We started preparing for this on January 3rd. Uh, Aaron's a kid. We've got him in the weight room. He was probably 150 pounds as a 10th grader, and he's a solid 175 now as a senior. A lot of the school said, listen, we like him, he, he runs well, but we want to see him get it done in his senior year consistently. We have uh, New Hampshire, University of New Hampshire. We have uh, Western Michigan, uh, UVA, uh, Maryland, Villanova, Ulster, which is in New York, Iowa, Boston College, 
Rutgers, uh, West Virginia, Delaware, Temple, Duke, and Richmond, Virginia. I mean, there's no I in team, so I'm not trying to, hey, I'm going to make a big play right here so colleges look at me. I'm just trying to come up with win state championship. And then after the season, whatever happens, happens. Give you one of these here to add to your collection out front. What is this? My dad's five? my dad's name doesn't disgrace any pages on this book, does it? Let's see. Michael Pett, 1959 to 1961. He would tell me how great he was, and I'd ask my grandfather and be like, ah, he never played. And Cooper got hurt early, right? Yeah. And so did Aaron. Just bruised his knee. And he's back now? Yeah. Who's that returning the kicks? Yeah, Aaron. Who's that the key? Aaron. But I like him. I mean, he's got good instincts. Mm -hmm. He looks pretty slow. He's very good. And who's number two? He's pretty, pretty solid. Two's going to Virginia. He's yeah. already taken. Now, in a terrific toss on that play, he put it right in the receiver's hand. My, my whole life changed when I, when I became a, a football player. I started to get more mature, and I adjusted. It was something to help me not to be in trouble with, like, the law and uh, fights and doing other things. He was still up. He was? Yeah. He I just think that maturity helped me get over the fact that I was a black kid living in a predominantly white neighborhood or whatever. Thank you. He's come a long way, not only on the field, but, but uh, more importantly off the field. Uh, struggled academically uh, in ninth grade. So when, when I got him as a sophomore and, and really kind of spelled it out from then, like, listen, you could be... You know, you could be the greatest football player ever to come through North Penn, but if you don't get it done in the classroom, you'll be the greatest football player ever at North Penn working at the car wash. Haki grew up as a very active and bad child. He was very, very active. He was so active, nobody wanted to babysit. And when we lived in North New Jersey, the neighborhoods were infested with drugs, um, drugs laying all outside. I knew that I had to get high key in a different environment, unless he was going to probably take after his dad. Where's their dad now? You don't want to know. <laughs> um, Bayside State Prison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like complete turnaround, you know. And um, I thank her for it pretty much, because if we would have stayed down where I used to live, I don't know what the, I'd probably be like psh, shooting people. To his credit, he's gotten himself to the point where he'll be enrolled on full scholarship at the University of Virginia. He shifts over. You have two to pass in strength, the quarter has one. He shifts over. When we need a big play, we get it from him. Oh, here they come to Johnson. Johnson breaks it. Johnson, 40, midfield. It's a race to 40, and Heike Johnson's going to go all the way. There is a better way to have fun with history. Come on, Louie. Focus, man. Visit americaslibrary.gov. Log on, play around, learn something. Some people choose AT&T Digital Cable because of the great offer. Some people choose AT&T Digital Cable because they want more. More movies, more variety, and more channels of the most popular premium services at no extra cost. So what's the best reason to choose AT&T Digital Cable? The great offer or more? Well, when you choose AT&T Digital Cable right now, you get both. What a great value. Turn on your cable with AT&T Digital Cable. Do you see that interception? Yeah. Man, that was dope. Whoa, 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 whoa. How many times do I have to tell you this? When you're standing at the trough at a football game, you never ever acknowledge a person next to you under any circumstances. Listen, if it helps you, focus on a piece of dirt in front of you. Keep your eyes forward until you're zipped up. All right? Come on now. You're better than that. Hey, big fella, let's keep the eyes on the wall. Eyes on the wall. Line up. Go. 
feel good. Kick some CBS ass. I think we're f***ing ready for these guys. I think it's gonna be a long day for West. Key is whoever works harder during practice and whoever has a better practice. It's gonna win the game Friday night, that's how I think. We gotta come out strong, we gotta kill them in the first half, and then take it to them in the second half, and hopefully we'll be out. Hey, this is the biggest game in North Penn football history. The will to win is one thing, but having the will to prepare to win is, I think, what separates you know, the good teams from the great ones. Win it again. Hey, guys, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. That wasn't the greatest practice, but it was for a couple reasons. Defensively, we gave you all the hardest looks, the unbalance, the shifts. Okay, this isn't a game where I feel like maybe two years ago we had to go into this game and throw it 30 times to have a chance. Okay, you know, I'd wish you good luck, but I don't think we need it because you've worked your asses off since January. All right, we'll see you up there. TM that I call it, transcendental meditation. Gonna relive everything you do tomorrow night will be you did it tonight earlier while you're trying to fall asleep. Good night, y'all. Good night, Good night Clay. Clay. See here the uh for the strength of the pack is the wolf, and for the strength of the wolf is the pack. And uh this one's by Phil Jackson. Above all, he must contribute your whole self to the team, not just your athletic self. Uh, Dad just um, writes them for me. For uh, just there's one every every day when I wake up. He puts one on the table, so I just hang them up here just for this week. So okay. Knowing every play inside and out, picturing whatever everybody else is doing, what I'm supposed to be doing. Hopefully, if I run through my mind enough, then it just carries over into the game. People actually like care. People know who you are because you're a football player. And that's cool. Tickets uh, are sold out for the game. You need to get to the game early. Get to the game early so that you're assured a seat. Support the Knights tonight. What, uh, what's it take you tonight? It's going to be the biggest game uh, of your career. Uh, it's definitely the biggest game of my career. Uh, uh, we got district, uh, district 1 championship. So, like, starting, starting, starting. If you were here, Roy, that be the defense. The slash track. We're going to beat the unbeatable. <laughs> I'm very nervous, big time. I only got like two hours of sleep last night. Like, went to bed and like stared at the ceiling for like 15 hours or whatever. Heads up. AT, AT. There's gonna be a lot of colleges there just looking at us, and I just think that this game could make or break us. But I mean, 30 years from now, I bet I'll remember this game like it was yesterday. If you've been waiting for this one, it's here. No game on the play. Somebody shot the gap. They play the game at a different speed. You go from seeing like these huge massive holes with all this open field to like two guys there waiting for you. The Bucks are gonna force somebody else besides Hickey Johnson to beat him. Go ahead! 
I think one of the keys is Aaron Thomas. He's a big play guy. Every time he touches the football. Formation number 23. 23. You sure you broke it? I have to go back in. I'm not missing this game. are up by two scores and now North Penn has to start to get a little bit concerned. 14 to nothing Central Bucks West. Oh, ace right 60. Oh, man. All hits and now. And they got to try now to put some points on the board. Now, this is a huge play for us. Huge. Huge. Cooper's still down. He took a shot after he threw that ball. I know Mike Pettin Jr. is holding his breath right now. Are you all right? Are you all right? We're watching as Dave Thomas tries to top a Wendy's whole chicken breast filet. Yes, and that's no easy task. After all, it's all white meat, lightly seasoned, cooked to a golden brown. He's picked the cheese. Looks like mozzarella. The crowd sure seems to like it. Now he's picking the sauce. Creamy Parmesan. And there you have it. Wendy's mozzarella chicken supreme. Great sandwich, Dave. I couldn't have done it without the chicken. And remember, Wendy's pickup windows open late, so you can eat great. Thanks for stopping. Even late. Man, I'm hungry. What a buck for a sliver of raw fish. It's sushi. Sushi? Where I'm from, we call that stuff bait. What else can you get for just a dollar? Well, I can get a 20 minute phone call for only 99 cents. Quit kidding around. No, it's true. Dial 10, 10, 2, 20, it's just 99 cents for all calls up to 20 minutes. And just 7 cents a minute after that. And get this, there's no monthly fee. 10, 10, 2, 20 really is a great deal. We know. Hey, you forgot to cook this. Dial 10, 10, 2, 20. Every victory makes the papers. Achieve new balance. In the battle to prevent the gum disease gingivitis, floss goes a long way. Because floss removes plaque between teeth. But for many, that might not be enough. To kill the germs brushing and flossing may miss, use Listerine. Listerine is the one brand, the only brand, clinically proven to flow into the tiny spaces between teeth to kill germs and help prevent the gum disease gingivitis. Stand up to gum disease. Get in here and fight. With Listerine, don't let a good mouth go bad. It's the fall finish on the PGA Tour. And Garcia, Pornovic, Stadler, and other top pros started off with the Battle of BC. The Air Canada Championship begins Thursday at 4 on ESPN. Play some better day. If you're going to turn the corner, I would just pitch it or call toss. Is there, do you have any ringing in your ears or anything like that? Uh, you either do or you don't. What do you think, Doc? Uh, I think we got to watch him. You know, he's got a couple of minutes. He can sit and rest. Um, do you remember the play that was called? Um, All right, Paul. 
Panics, nobody hangs their head. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give it everything we got in the second half. Everything. Everything. If we come up short, so be it. The sun comes up. But for now, we got 24 minutes of football where we're gonna leave every fing thing we have on the field. Everything. Let's take it out. He'll be alright. Doc cleared him to play. We're gonna see how he makes it out here in the third quarter and then try him out for a couple. He passed all his tests that we had to do, so. Seven-yard field goal attempt coming up here. Walk left, dogs this side. Get it. Yeah, we're down to 428, and the clock continues to run. Stay off the kicker. Miss, 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 miss. Let's go. Score Help us feel on the sidelines and running out the clock. You know, knowing that we didn't play our best football. And Central Bucks West will pick up the win tonight. 17 to 7 over here at War Memorial Field. Hey. There should be some tears shed. I mean, not our best effort. You know, you got to play big in big games. I mean, that's it's that simple. We're going to get another shot. But we got to take care of business next week, no matter who it is. No matter who it is. All right, let's take it in. Yeah. My dad has been locked up. Last time I saw him, I might have been like 13, so it would have been like five years ago, maybe. I can't remember the last time I called him dad. I mean, that because he hadn't been around a while. But we're starting to get back to a father-son relationship. Well, he always been a good kid, you know? Always been a good kid. I like to feel better about it, like with the win and then coming home to see my father's but. You know, it's still good to see him. And we gonna win this one, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you gonna talk to the team, we gonna tell us, look here, my pop coming to see us, we got to, we got to make this right. Uh, for you? Yeah. All right, yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> got it. It was, a, it was actually a good game. I, I, if we given another half an hour, we probably would have won. That was over well, man. This guy's, this guy's amazing, man. You know, I can't even describe the, how I feel, you know, when I see him. And that's my boy. You know, and I'm proud of him. The football thing is just a plus for me because he's, he's a man. I wanted to, like, come out and score four touchdowns, run 200 yards against the number one team in the state. But it didn't turn out that way. It was tough to uh, put words on my feelings. I drank champagne, but it tasted like vinegar. Which is basically how I felt. Did you try to run throwback X? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. They were very disappointed, and they're gonna sit and dwell over this one for a while. And um, he's been very grumpy and a little bit hard to live with. If I'm smart, I'm not going to give you too many more chances with with uh, coaching. Here you go. 
And I just uh, may go off down into the first fairway after this season, you know, and just... Uh, I might only get one more chance. That's why this Friday is so important. I gotta earn that chance. And he misses the tackle. Oh, that's a shock. Tell me why you stopped blocking him. See the guy you're engaged right here? I don't understand why you would that's stop That's the guy that strips him. the ball, Fran. Why would you stop blocking him? Key, okay. what are we doing here? Okay, Clay, uh, I don't understand that throw, Clay. Pump it and throw it. There. Get a good look. Okay, guys, obviously, you know, all, all is not lost. You know, we have to earn another shot. And if you're only going to win one of them, guys, the one to win is the second one. So as bad as we played, as bad as it feels, the only way to redeem yourself is to go out and put a, a big old-fashioned ass whooping on Norristown. There's a legend that supposedly if you look really hard, you can see that horse smiling. Sometimes the horse does smile. And that's a sign of good luck in just about any culture, really. That's why they got a horse and not like a deer. I've seen it wink at me. That horse has winked probably like twice. One time before I, uh, I met my, uh, my ex-wife, and another time before I ended up buying a car for a really good value. Mm, I love strawberries. I love you. Luscious toppings of fresh big crust. You invited a pizza delivery no, guy no, here? No, 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 what no, kind no, of girl no. do you think I am? But it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. For fresh baked pizza at home, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. I'll call you. She's the natural, the natural. Cover girl. Fresh new faces, a fresh new way to wear clean. New clean sheer stick. At last, the light freshness of clean makeup, now in an easy breezy stick. Turn it up, glide it on, blend it in. It doesn't look like makeup, just great skin. New clean sheer stick. Never greasy, never thick. <laughs> Heard about George? The software guy? The guy with the backhand? Yeah. Bought Cytrel. Friday morning. Friday morning? How do you do that? Same way we did. Yeah, but George isn't a traitor. Hey, George. Dirty. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I hate that guy. Daytech Online. The rules are changing. Tomorrow, the Reds head to Atlanta to battle the Braves. Griffey and Bichette, Chipper and the Big Cat, the NL's top power hitters slug it out. Then, East meets West in a crucial AL showdown. Derek Jeter and the Yankees look to make a run for it in the AL East, while Martinez and the Mariners fight for the top spot in the AL West. It's the road to the playoffs. Reds, Braves at 7 on ESPN. Yankees, Mariners at 10 on ESPN2. Tomorrow... by the, my injury, but I don't want to hurt the team in the long run. But I mean, with college-wise, I mean, I don't think it'll hurt me that much. Set! Hard! Right, dislocated it during the game. Because you did the boo 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 Oh, you did the boo boo You did the boo boo I got it good. At least you could get it washed. I can't scrub it. They're just soaking water for the love of God. I went to the doctor yesterday. I mean, he said there was nothing he can really do for it. He says it's going to hurt it more every time I hit somebody and it's going to hurt. So. They did beat, beat our asses last year. Got shadow. But all they did was hoot and holler and scream and yap and dance and 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is going to be like a payback revenge type of game for us. I mean, they uh, tried to run up the score on us when the up 31, whatever the score was. Thank you. It really comes down to this week. If we were at this point last year, the ideal thing is for obviously for us to win the game and, and then you know, basically North Penn, CB West, Chapter 2. It's time for round one of the District 1 Quad A High School football playoffs with North Penn and Norristown. Are you ready, Blue? Yeah. Waited a long time for this, guys. We're going to show these people we can run too, especially defensively. And I tell you what, this isn't a track meet tonight. It's a football game. Those suckers have better come prepared to take on slash wedge post. Or they're going to have a long fucking ride back to Narstown. What time is it? Let's go. And the last time these two clubs met right here at Crawford Stadium was last year and Norristown really laid it on the Knights, 31 to 13. You don't think that's on their minds? Trust me, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our turn now, baby. Our turn. Come oh, on, guys. We got to score this drive. This is our season now. they were they were calling me a uh, high karate and typical like trash talk you know this year i mean i kind of had to take it personally i'm like i'm gonna come out and i'm gonna play my best game against you and you stop me if you can stop it up. Uh, we go off around the 25 into the open cuts to the outside still on his feet at the midfield stride 45 40 35 damn it take off team they go to Swittenberg. Troy goes in standing up. That would be seconds. Boy, that was like light. This is air. I like this. I like this. And to Johnson. Johnson looks for room on his left side. Pops up the football. That's picked up by Nars now. 30. 20, 15, 10, and he's going to score. What are you going to do? You know? What are you going to do? Let's go. It's all right. Teams will hit the locker room. It's Norristown 21. The North Penn Knights 14. We'll be back. We get the ball, we score. Yep. Yep. We okay. stop them. We Who's score he? again. I don't care who you are or what position you play. If you're afraid of these fouls, get out of the locker room now. If you're afraid, just leave. We don't win this game. Our dreams are shattered, man. Shattered. To create the most realistic football games means working with the pros. Sometimes that can lead to problems. Marshall, one fumble clip. Just one. No, I don't fumble. Just one time. No, I, mean, just... I do not fumble. Fortunately, we're real problem solvers. Hey, Marshall! Rated E for everyone. <laughs> On your scale from 1 to 10, how clean are your teeth right now? Want them cleaner? Get ready for a whole new level of clean. Introducing Advanced Cleaning from Crest Multicare. The best crest ever at repelling stains, tartar buildup, and that filmy feeling. So your teeth feel slick and smooth. Your mouth feels cleaner long after you brush. And that's a feeling you can't measure. New Advanced Cleaning from Crest Multicare. Open up and smile. Alrighty, before we go on, I want to review last week's service. So let's go to tape. Nice, tight formation. Oh, sloppy pass, Michael. Very nice. Whoops. It's all in the wrists. You break away too early. And pick up the pace of the left flank and into the end zone. Yeah!
It can transform your beautiful deck into a danger zone. Boards warp and crack, weakening your deck. But Thompson's gives you the highest level of water protection available to protect your deck like no other. Thompson's. It never takes a day off. Guaranteed. Double amnesia. Andy! Uh -uh. I'm not blind. So, too sick to make deliveries, huh? Uh, 170. That's hot. Uh -huh. Call for your really hot pizza delivered in a Domino's heat wave bag. Bad Andy. Good pizza. The Bills want to avenge the Music City miracle as the Titans invade Buffalo. Right after NFL primetime at 7.30, it's the Titans versus the Bills at 8.30 on ESPN Sunday Night Football. It's football after dark. Death by Spitko. You're going to the district title. I'll start, th I'll start thinking about you later. <laughs> Obviously, uh, it's, it's a rematch I, I didn't want, but uh, if that's the only way we can get to where we want to go, we'll have to do it again. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> can you break the record tonight? Oh, great game. My baby did good tonight. <laughs> yes, he did. Every senior's life. 
The gist of the article is that that senior, the head coach at West, is basically happy to play us instead of Norristown, the team we beat. Uh, it's a complete slap in the face to us, our kids, and our program. That's going to be the worst thing they've ever said, that they're going to say watch. When it comes back on Friday after the game, I'm going to tell Mr. Patton you shouldn't have never said that. Like, that's the kind of stuff, like, you don't want to be talking about. You want to keep that to yourself. You know, you tell your team that. Uh, I just hope we come out and win, man. Really. That's all I can hope for right now. Good luck, McKelvey. McKelvey doesn't need luck. Yeah. You lose this game, it's the season's over. There's a lot more at stake here, right? It's a rare thing in sports where you get a second chance at something. So we're just excited. We're going to get on the bus and ride over there. And it's going to be nothing, nothing. Um, we're just thrilled that we that we get another shot out of it. Forget everything else that's happened in you know, all year. We've we've prepped and planned ourselves for this moment. Everybody's expecting us to lose. And we have a perfect opportunity because I think everybody here knows that game was a hell of a lot closer than even what it ended up being. I mean, you guys are the best. We've had a great year. You know, let's 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 accomplish goals we set. This is bad check, home. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, white shirt, black socks. Got it. Just make sure you're in there. Files. All right, be ready tomorrow. This is your bet check. It's been great. Three years. I mean, we took a program, turned it around the first year Coach Petten was here. Yo, just making sure you're in there. It's been an experience. I mean, right now, so far in my life, nothing's stopped me. We've got a rematch between Central Bucks West and North Bend High School. And tonight, the District 1 title is on the line. And Jim, this is the one that really matters. So although North Penn lost, they know they got a second shot at things. Most times you don't get a second chance in life. They have their second chance tonight. Location, same setting, great weather. The only difference is the winner wins the district title, the winner goes on to the states. Let's go, Rio. Hey guys, there's, there's not too much more to be said than already, you know, that hasn't already been said. Uh, you know, this is the moment that we've, you guys have worked for for a lifetime. But it's going to take everything we have, everything we have, and then some. Tonight's the night. We get one shot. One shot. North Penn Knights, District 1 champs. What time is it? I love movies. Old classics. Action films. Romances. Watch me. Hi. What should you do to stop a friend from driving drunk? Whatever you have to. College football Saturday. First at noon. The athleticism of quarterback Rashard Casey makes the Lions dangerous both on the ground and through the air. At six, the game is revenge, and the Buffs want it bad. But will the Rams snatch another victory? Then at nine, the Utes are on the move with dynamic playmaker Darnell Arsenault and his speedy sidekick Steve Smith. College game day at 11 on ESPN. Toledo versus Penn State at noon. Colorado versus Colorado State at six. Arizona versus Utah at nine. Saturday on ESPN. Hey, stand off. Midfield. 
did it. We made it. We're getting our second chance. You have to play perfect every snap, every down, every play. So we have a chance to win. Union splits to the left. A little play action pass. They throw to DiGiacomo on the left. Left out of the shotgun. Cutley with a third down call. Looking for Johnson and it's broken up. Downfield by Camber. DiGiacomo, 45 to the midfield. He's got a CB West first down. The ball wide open. As Callahan, he gets inside the 15. Right the ball! Right the ball! Yeah, you left one or right one? Something like that? <laughs> on the outside, Chris? They come to the chatty off the left side. Dustin sticks down. He's head, drives out to the 43. Aaron Thomas down on the field. If he's not moving either. You was playing it, did you twist? I don't know. It just hit me in the head. Hey, you high break stand, but you hear anything pop? Yes, I know. Okay, on your right, relax. Did you feel pop? Any sort of... His knee is a little bit sore on him. He thought he had something popped in the back of his knee. So if there's any concern about the health of his knee, I probably won't let him go. Don't worry yourself. This close. Come on. We're more than this close. We're this close. We got this. We got this so much. We got this. One half away, guys. Can you feel it? Yeah. life, bad things are going to happen. And eventually we'll be able to look back on the season with a lot of positive memories. It's just hard to right on the heels of this. So. guys, I know it hurts. When you work so hard towards something, you come up short.
great group of kids to be around. That's what I'm going to remember the most. But football's a game where you can't sit back and enjoy the season because people are already talking about next year. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.